Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this video I'm going to show you uh, what a getter and a setter is. Uh, very important when it comes to class design. So I'm just going to start coding. I'm going to code a person class at the top of this. And let's give it a few instance variables. Private string name. And I'm going to give it a private int age. Okay, and we went over constructor, so let's create one real quick. Public, and then the name of the class, which is person. We're going to take in two arguments, a string for name, and it's going to take in an int value for age. So let's set this up. It's going to say this name equals name, and this dot age not minus equals age <coughs> excuse me uh, I could code hard code this out um, yeah I'm gonna hard code it first so what a getter is in a setter a getter will retrieve um, let's just say that I was writing some code down here and I wanted to get the person's age a quick way of referencing age would be public void get age and it takes no parameters and inside here uh, well actually excuse me this is going to return an int so get age we're going to return age down here returning and printing are two different things so it, if you wanted to down here print out the age you would have to do a system dot print out line uh, with this method in the parameters so let's do another get method public string because we're getting the name on this one and that's a string parameters and we're just going to say return name okay all the errors are gone and now a setter is once you instantiate an object if you want to have the ability to change values in it we're going to have a set method and what you can call that to uh, change the age of someone change the name of someone so let's see how this code looks this is the public void because we're not returning anything and we're going to say set age and this will take in a parameter because you want to uh, put in the pass in the new age that you want to give to the particular instance of that object so let's say int age open up some curly brackets and we're going to say this dot age equals the age that you passed in and same thing for the string public void because we're not returning anything set name and for the parameters we're going to pass in a string that's supposed to represent the name and open up some curly brackets and we're going to say this dot name as in the the class name or the instance variable equals the name that was passed in and to show that this works well let's create a few objects people or person objects so we're going to say person uh, p1 equals new person and we got to pass in a string and an int so let's say john uh, comma and John, because it's a string, has to be in between double quotation marks. And the int does not and should not, or else it won't work. So let's just say he's uh, 25 years old. Okay, we're going to end with a semicolon. And let's just copy and paste this. Whoops. Oh boy. I'm just typing. All right copy which can be control C and then we're going to paste it with control V 
So let's name this P2, and we're going to say Jane, and we'll say she's uh, 21. Okay, so let's uh, system dot out dot print line p1 dot get age and let's also system dot out dot print line uh, p2 dot get name. All right, so what we expect to see at the bottom of the screen is p one dot get age should be twenty five p two dot get name should be Jane, and they'll be on separate lines. So let's see if this works. Okay, and it does. So right here, let's create a uh, two string to make this uh, representation of each object unique and a little bit prettier to look at. So public, we're going to return a string value. The method is to string. Uh, empty uh, parentheses, open the brackets, and let's say, let's return a string that says get name. We don't have, we can either press put in just this name right here or just to be simpler, which is refers to this. We could just type in name, but I'm also, I'm trying. This is a video on getters and setters, so I'm going to show you that you can write get name uh, the method, and what when you call that method, it's going to return this name, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to say is make sure there's a space right here and right here, and concatenate that again with get age uh, and then we're going to concatenate onto that years old okay so if this works it should say the name uh, let's say we ran it on p1 it should say John is 25 years old so let's get rid of this and so we're just going to print out this object, P1. Cool. John is 25 years old. Now let's set a new variable, a new, uh, let's see, P1 dot set age. Let's just say he had his birthday. So now he's 26 years old. Now let's print that out again. A shortcut for printing our system dot out dot print line is sys out and control shift or uh yeah control shift or control space there we go sorry about that i'm getting all my shortcuts mixed up so from sys out hit control and the space bar and it'll automatically set up this for you so let's print out p1 again And as you can see, this method works. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Let me get rid of all these and show you a shortcut of creating getters and setters through Eclipse. And this is why I love Eclipse so much. We're going to right click, go to source, somewhere down here, source, and say generate getters and setters. And since we have two uh, fields up here, age and name, let's click both of them because we want getters and setters for both. And we're going to say OK. And look, it generated for us exactly what I had just coded. And let's just run this again. OK, so you get the same same numbers. So that's, that's a uh, video on getters and setters. Uh, they come in very handy. You should pretty much always... Eh, that, that's a... Maybe an overkill statement, but but there are times where these these will be in a lot of classes because sometimes you need to change uh, values, and if you don't want to change it, just don't create a getter or a setter for it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Make Programming, and visit my website, MakeProgramming.org. I'm trying to make a Facebook account as we speak, 
and please subscribe. That's all I can say, and I'm going to keep pumping these videos out. Thank you for watching.